the station time. So here I am. All right, all right, Trinidad and Tobago. I know you're hearing a song that you love in the background. And it is with great honor. Madonna here with you. In the next few minutes, uh, the other voices that you're going to be hearing is the lady herself. Grammy Award winning, very, very, very amazing young lady making waves like never before in the gospel fraternity globally. So much is going to be happening. You're going to learn about her. And what I love is her people skills, how she interacts with persons on a one-on-one -on -one and really able to connect with you and the young people. Parents, you got to get your young people out there from age. Anyway, let me do it. Let me do it. Let me, let me hold up. Trinidad and Tobago. Let's welcome to Isaac 98.1 FM, Jaquel And it's really, really, really awesome to have you here. I'm so honored to have you here with us this afternoon. I really drove quickly <laughs> to get here. But, you know, it's always awesome, you know. And I feel like I'm in the presence of greatness. You know, Martin Luther oh, said mm -hmm. that, uh, you know, greatness is not just by what we accomplish, mm -hmm. but by the lives we touch. And you are touching millions globally. Mm -hmm. So because of that, for me, it's an honor to be in your presence, Thank right? Thank you. Thank you for having me. <laughs> and... Uh, you know, as, as we connect and find out more about you, I have been doing my research, <laughs> you know, so I realized that, you know, you're not just a gospel minister, but you're also a CEO, you're also an evangelist, you also speak at women conferences. So in going into that and delving into there, I want to find out from you, when did it all began? At what age you started singing? I started singing at the age of five years old and the interesting thing is I thought that singing was all that I was going to do but then at the age of 13 the Lord began to speak to me and he said there's more that I require of you uh, you are to evangelize and he called me to speak and it wasn't until I accepted my calling of speaking uh, that God really expanded my ministry to the world and then a year and a half later after that I released my first breakout song at the age of 15 uh, uh, greater is coming and it's just been going strong ever since then and I can honestly testify that uh, ever since I accepted my calling of speaking I've never had a void calendar God has really uh, just been blessing my ministry and my life uh, to be able to travel the world and to go even places that I can't physically go but my music is going there my ministry is going there over the airwaves and, and I just counted a blessing to be able to inspire people through the gifts that God has placed on the inside of me awesome awesome parents I hope you all are listening young people minister wherever you are what amazed me with her is at her age and she said at 15 she did her first album and were able to touch the lives of adults mm. so were there any fears that you had at that point in time when that calling came as a young person because most young persons are into social media mm -hmm. and it's so easy for that to happen and not really worry about the things of God right now yeah. you know yeah 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 <laughs> honestly it was a smooth transition for me because when I was ministering through song only it was as if I was speaking anyway right. um, and so being able to fully operate in that calling it just took things to another level and I've always had this boldness when it came to my purpose and ministry and what I do and so you know um, during that time where God called me uh, with so many things said uh, young people don't love the Lord they don't want to be in church and so but I, as I travel I would see many young people at the altar you know crying out to God and just seeing God change their lives and even and pushing them into destiny and it's been a beautiful experience to watch wow what comes to mind is that will change your destiny maker mm -hmm. miles would have loved to meet you uh. <laughs> <laughs> because he's always so much into purpose and destiny mm -hmm. and i right. know that you put your hands into many things we will get into that a little later but how is it for you understanding the call and purpose of god and then in writing how often and what pushes you into writing what propels you 
So it's different things. Um, I would hear the testimonies uh, from different people, and you, that's how you get the song, like, You Will Win. Um, and then it just seemed as though people would allow their circumstances to defeat them when it's supposed to be the other way around. In life, we're going to face things. We're going to have challenges. However, you must understand that the champion in you have to, at some point, arise and begin to declare, no, <laughs> it is God's will that I defeat you. And so you get you will win and then uh, greater is coming you're bigger songs like that those are my personal testimonies and to be able to sing uh, these songs and not just sing them but to have actually lived them uh, people don't know and understand that my family and I we went through our own shaking beating and pressing but to watch how God uh, introduced us and loved us into greater it has been a wonderful experience and that's why I can sing the songs with power and I can sing them with conviction because I know because God has done it for me and my family. Is it you alone writing your music or you'll get help no, with that? <laughs> no, it's actually a family thing. It's a family affair. Either I write it, my dad, my mom, or we write it together. Yeah, so all of our writing is in-house. Amazing. Trinidad and Tobago, in case you just tune in, um, in with the lady herself, Jacqueline Carr. And we are going to be at the Center of Excellence tomorrow evening. Get ready, get ready, get ready. <laughs> yes. It's not too late for you to get a ticket, so go on down and get them. Bring the young people because she's really into touching and impacting lives. And also, I realize that you have your own record label. Mm -hmm. I'm so young. <laughs> it's beautiful. Um, I've been independent ever since um, God, you know, pushed my ministry out there. God gave my dad a vision. And so we've been going strong ever since then. Uh, a lot of hard work. And, you know, I would just watch him sacrifice uh, sleep loss and everything. But to see how God is just rewarding us, it's been so amazing and so yeah we have our own record label Lungy Out Music Group. Wow also congratulations on your Stella Awards. Thank and you. Grammys and everything else <laughs> and also what I love about your music it's hearing from you now you know the testimonies that come out of it mm -hmm. and then persons are able to have that real touch mm -hmm. moment mm -hmm. and uh, in music most persons we have seen our own CC Winer, Love Her to the Moon and Back, and they stick with music, mm -hmm. but you get into different things. Mm -hmm. So, what made you realize that? Because you realize because of the word, I see you really living it mm -hmm. because you're not just staying into music and mm -hmm. you're being all that you can be through Christ. Mm -hmm. So, what caused you to get into your own line? Yeah, so these are the things that gifts that God has placed in me. Um, I realize there are layers to my life, and you know, doing things in the timing of God, it always matters at the same time, too. So what I believe he did was he created that foundation for me. And now um, he's constantly adding, he's enlarging my territory. And so um, I have my beauty company, Jacqueline Beauty, that I launched in 2021, um, July to be exact. And so, and it's been going strong ever since then. And of course, television and film, just so many great things. And, and one thing I love what it does is, is it ministers at the same time because you have some people who may not go to church mm -hmm. but they'll buy a skincare line Definitely. and then when they do their research they see oh it's a Christian person mm -hmm. behind this and, and it just shows that how when God's hand is on something you can be great, you can be successful and you don't have to compromise you don't have to you know set aside your morals and your standards and your beliefs but you know God has just been so great as we've been trusting him with the layers of my life Awesome, <laughs> so we in Trinidad would love to have the Jaquil in her yes, yes. <laughs> and, and i can get some for my brother you know yeah so the him yeah yes, right to yes. for him we'd really love to get some of that on our shows and also you're into skincare mm -hmm. and to the hair, hair care, as well yes. i believe we have international shipping awesome. um i believe that is still available for you uh jacqueline beauty j-e-k-a-l-y-n beauty.com awesome so you hear that tnt you know we all love our little beauty supplies <laughs> so therefore you gotta get that mm -hmm. also what's amazing about the powerhouse that we have with us in studio you know all the songs that came out of her what what inspiration would you give to young persons that uh, you know believe that there's a call of god in their life or those who i don't feel for the jesus thing right now mm -hmm. you know what would you say to them what inspiration would you give to them 
You know, there's a lot of things you could get into, but I tell people the best thing you can ever do, uh, one of the best things you can ever do is walk in your purpose, your divine purpose. You must understand that we're not just here to watch others be great, but there is something on the inside of you that God himself took his time to put in you that you may be great in your own right. I encourage you to step into that. Sometimes it, you may seem a little fearful. Maybe you feel like, oh, I'm too young. I'm, you know, I don't have what others have. No, if God himself saw the value and put the value upon your life, I believe that you have everything that it takes for you to be great in your own right. You know, get around the right people, keep the right company, uh, making sure you're protecting what is in you. Because again, um, anything that is powerful and has such a great impact and will have such a great impact, you are a threat. You're a threat to the devil. But at the end of the day, you got to know God got you. He has you covered just continue to flow and walk with him were there any times you felt discouraged and felt like giving up with everything that is going on of course many times you know um however god has placed some amazing people in my life my family um that really encourages me and 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 help pushes me and not only that but also putting the right things in my ear you know there are times that i will um put different affirmations in my ear i will speak affirmations Mm -hmm. i will write them down because it's very important especially when it's a vision that you're working on it's it's not easy exactly Mm -hmm. you know I'm always reminded of Nehemiah Mm -hmm. (laughs) he was working however the enemy was trying to get him down but Nehemiah he had to pray to God he had to cry he had to speak you know out of his mouth and God answered him and he finished the assignment Mm -hmm. so the point is there's going to be distractions but you got to finish your assignment wow (laughs) Trinidad and Tobago, I'm telling you, I can't wait. I could go on and on and on and on (laughs) just getting to know her. It's such an amazing experience on a one-on-one. And, you know, what I love about the youth, you know, God has called the youth and many young persons now are really evolving. I mean, our CEO, she is in her 30s, if (laughs) she doesn't mind me saying that. So we see that younger persons, God, are using them to impact the nations of the youth. Mm -hmm. So we just need to grab a hold of it and Mm -hmm. I admire your strength Mm -hmm. even and not being fearful so mm-hmm. did you have any fears at one point in time you know one to know or the older person's like oh, this is a girl you know <laughs> kind of thing yeah. you know how did you well, deal with that um i think for me because i started out so young uh you there were uh <laughs> a few people who, you know, questioned and all of that. Uh, however, you know, I had to be confident in what I knew God said about me. Um, and so th- with that being said, there's a lot of young people out there who, according to man or natural circumstances, you don't qualify or you haven't experienced enough, you haven't been through enough. But what I realize is a lot of people have experiences but no glory. So when God's hand is on your life, you continue to push and fight and let God, you know, allow the results yes. and the matter manifestation of his word speak for you you know never stop to address the negativity no you keep doing what god tell you to do and watch him work for you awesome i hope you're listening loud and clear not even for myself you know in hearing that is just to stay focused be deliberate about what we do you Mm -hmm. know that's what i'm hearing and 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 i'm really appreciative for that sort of confirmation as well so trinidad and tobago we're in the presence of jacqueline and carr and must say thank you to mr ian here would as well for that connection mm-hmm. and bringing us all together you know it couldn't be done without Ian and his team and he does amazing stuff wow I could just imagine tomorrow <laughs> yes. God's willing you know? everybody wants once once he's having something it's like okay a tick goes on and everybody wants to be there he has created that road and it's because he has been consistent as well mm. so we all just amazed and want to be a part of whatever mm. he is doing so really thank you mm-hmm. again no, Mr. No. Hayward mm-hmm. for this opportunity <laughs> it's really amazing and I want to thank you Jacqueline Trinidad you want to hear more of this you got to come on down to Center of Excellence I know person somebody messaged me they're like Madonna when I give you my tickets now the <laughs> message Madonna I give you my tickets so I'm like okay my phone blowing up and I'm like what the fuck they they're just you know no Madonna going as well so like we, we we just they just start a message as well so 
it's really exciting and I'm really happy to have you here with us. Thank you. And in closing, any words you'd like to say to Trinidad and Tobago? Yes. yes, of course. Well, Trinidad has been pulling on me for a minute and I'm excited to be here. I believe that tomorrow is going to be a life-changing experience for so many people. You know, of course, we're going to minister and through song and all of that. But I think the biggest thing is making sure that you leave with a God experience and you know that God is not um, visiting Visiting you, but he's coming to stay, and there's a thing that is happening that's going to shift the trajectory of your life into the place where God wants it to be. So I'm excited about it. Amen, amen. I'm excited as well. And also, I, I just you know this little question because she's young, Trinidad. She's beautiful, <laughs> and you. so so I'm delving into your business a little bit <laughs> to find out. You know, will will there be a, a, a Mr. Jacqueline around the corner somewhere? <laughs> <laughs> well, because you know this. Trini guys they're beautiful you know they're amazing you know so <laughs> <laughs> in God's timing of course beautiful yes. <laughs> beautiful so so thank you again for coming and much thanks to Celia and Ian yeah, I don't know if you want to chime in and just tell us you know where we can get tickets and, and how that's happening at this time because people people are going yeah yeah mm-hmm. well yeah we just I'm grateful for the opportunity thanks to 19.1 for being a more platinum partner um, for sticking with us on the entire journey of course, you can get tickets here. So all those who haven't gotten us yet, you can run down here or you can go to excellent stores or um, any of the other ticket outlets. Check our pages out. Check our IG, our Facebook. Our team is very interactive mm-hmm. um, very on, on those on those networks. So check us out. Ask a question. Um, but bring someone. Um, there's somebody who was not planning to come who doesn't even know about the event. And we have a responsibility to touch someone. Um, sometimes it may be difficult to get someone to come straight into church. This might be a nice way to sneak yeah. them into the kingdom business. You know, so just bring someone, get someone, your brother, your cousin, your son, who you've been praying for. Just invite him, ask him to drop you. And let's allow ourselves to be arms to pull people in the right atmosphere. And then let God do his work. Yeah? Awesome. All right, so that's it for us. Thank you so much for being with us. So make sure you get your roti, you get your doubles. Yes. <laughs> you know, you get your yeah. anything, definitely. <laughs> so you take that back with you. And we, I don't know if you're here on Sunday, you can get some kalaloo. Huh? <laughs> 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 All right, so you'll be enjoying our dishes. We're the best, the best group. Yes, I'm like excited to try the them. <laughs> <laughs> so have a wonderful, wonderful evening as you continue. And I know you got to get your rest. That is pivotal. Mm-hmm. Right? So <laughs> yes. It's going to happen. It's going to happen. So thank you again. And uh, it's exalt.